So, so this 360 shot of my room is really important for me because I, I kind of wanted to remember what my room looked like before I change everything up. This is my next phase of collecting or, or, or display to that point. And uh, as you can see, I'm not really happy. I'm kind of buried in boxes. I have figures and, and hot toys and all sorts of stuff just kind of congested. And uh, I, I've been dealing with this problem probably uh, for, for the last year. In December of last year, December 2018, I did place a large order with Modu cases. So at this point in time, I thought I would get a notification that my Modu cases would arrive. My Modu cases arrived last week on Monday, so middle of June. So. It didn't stop me from prepping the room up, kind of getting things in order. I, I got some stuff coming up and wanted to kind of remember what it looked like before everything got up. Hello folks, Denobi2 here. Thank you for joining me once again on a personal journey. <laughs> uh, this is uh, some uh, shots of the room, the barge, the the Hall of Captain Americas. They're all gonna get relocated. They're all gonna find a new home. The Batman animated series, large vehicles. I got tchotchke stuff all over the place. It's just, uh, yeah. And uh, what I'm doing right now, starting the video, I wanted to see what's gonna go, what's gonna get sold, what's gonna get donated, what's gonna get hidden in the attic. <laughs> uh, the Blizzard Overwatch figures, my Star Wars, Hot toys crammed into the detoffs. All that, all that's gonna get uprooted, all that's gonna get shuffled, and they're all gonna get a good home, especially my Hulkbuster over there. Kinda in its little corner there. My Star Trek Eagle Moss ships are gonna get relocated, but the hull of armor, the suits, are gonna stay right there. That's, uh, that's my pride and joy, that's not moving. Once I got the notification from Maju Cases, I started tearing everything out and I cleared the back wall. The wall where the Maju Cases were going to go. So I just kind of moved everything to the back and prepped. First thing is first, I need some power sources. All right? Got two side entry six way electrical socket outlets that I picked up on Amazon because I know that my Maju Cases are going to require a lot of plugs for the LED lights in them. Shipment arrived by FedEx. I was uh, I was home that day, and uh, guy was really nice. He loaded everything up in the uh, the garage. I knew it was going to be a big shipment, but you know when you see it firsthand, you're like, wow, this is uh, this is going to be a lot of work. <laughs> started moving everything up to the uh, second floor, and I just started unboxing. I just wanted to kind of soak it in, kind of get a feel for everything. So what I'm feeling right now is a sense of overwhelm. I, I'm just taking my time. This is not a race. I am studying everything. I'm looking at the parts. I, I'm just kind of getting a feel for it. Kind of, you know, studying the, the parts that is a velvet surface. I'm, a, I, I'm making assumptions here that at the, at the time that this is the bottom of the, uh, the module case. I also want to get out. Uh, just, just put it out there. Everything arrived in perfect condition. Nothing arrived broken at all. So I was very happy with that. Very happy with FedEx on that. Take your time. Study the uh, the stickers, the inner side. I did mess up on one of the module cases. Uh, the panels. Uh, the panels have to face a certain direction. Uh, they don't include instructions in the box. There's, there's not a sheet that kind of breaks down there is it's, it's not ikea instructions they don't they do not include printed ikea instructions in, into this in fact i had to go to the module case uh website no not the website their youtube channel because they did post a video on it they did post a video on instructions on how to attach the, the module case because it, it they do have a patented interlocking system that there is a learning curve I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. This first module case took me probably two hours, and that's simply because I w I was studying everything. I, I really wanted to know the the, the whole logic, uh, which piece is facing which direction. 
I watched their video probably five or six times just to kind of get a, an idea for it. Uh, and there's just, there's just not a lot of uh, uh, instructional videos out there on YouTube. So I'm going to try to do my best on here. I'm going to try to do my best and kind of explain to you uh, how it works. But in the end, you're, you're going to have to, if you do decide to buy your module case, you're going to have to, it's just, you're going to have to figure it out. Again, it took me, the first module case took me about two hours. And then subsequently, as, as, I, as I mastered it, every other module or case took me about 30 minutes. But it's, it's scary. It's like, oh, this is, this is a very big, expensive purchase. And um, I, they don't include printed instructions. Okay, it's, it's not the end of the world. I can figure this out. Let me pull out my tools. It, it, they use a, a hex key screw system there. I, uh, I did go to Home Depot thinking that I could cheat and get a hex uh, screw for it. I couldn't find one, so I had to resort to the free hex key that they do include uh, so that you can screw it. But you can kind of see there how how it interlocks. It's it's super strong. It's very sturdy. It's, uh, it's just very tedious, and uh, it will do a number of on your fingers and it will do a number on your wrist because there's just a lot of tightening it up again right here this shot i'm just i'm studying it it's it, this is the very first module case that i'm building and uh, i just really am just trying to really get a grasp for it uh the front bar here the, the little peg on there that's what you would use sorry for the uh, not focus and that's what you would use to attach the uh, front acrylic panel kind of see there that's the front screw there once you learn which parts go on top and which parts go on the bottom it, it does come natural to you I can kind of show you right here what it, how it works right there and it slips on and use the grab the key on there you can see right there I'm gonna tell you, I, I'm gonna say it one more time. My my fingers are are are, are swole. <laughs> uh, the the amount of uh, screwing, I I could not find the actual hex screw, so I can use my 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 power screwdriver for it. So that was at Home Depot. I couldn't find it. I'm sure there's one out there, but I couldn't find one. I also resorted to using the website's schematics or or the actual plan. This is the this is the set that I ordered. I ordered two sets I, th I want to say this is the d2404 then the d1801 and those are the measurements and um, I converted it to inches to kind of get a grasp for it once you read once I realized that it's it's all interlocking systems it's it's a big eye open it really really is especially since this first one here as I'm screwing the uh, as I'm using the hex key to, to screw it uh, took me over two hours. Again, every other module case, I averaged probably about 30, maybe 35 minutes. Uh, but knowing that and kind of realizing that this one modular case, um, <laughs> um, right there, that's what took me two and a half without, it's, it's, it's all stackable. It, uh, it, it told me at this point in time, like, wow, this is not gonna be a, a day job. And I didn't think it was gonna be a day job. I thought maybe two days. No, it, it took probably about three or four days to actually complete the whole set. And that's fine. I mean, this is this is something that I, I kind of thought I knew what I was getting myself into. But I mean, again, overall, you know, I'm not going to share. I'll, I'll share with you, Ryan. I'm very happy, very happy with the whole, uh, with the product. It's just I had no idea that it would take this long to build. This is the, uh, I chose the, uh, the spotlight, the, the LED spotlights on there, the little screws on there. Um, and I'm going to show you, I believe in this shot here, you can see how I'm running the actual cord through the uh, panel and you use your fingers and you, you want to jam. This is how I did it. They're giving you, I, they're showing you other ways to do it through with little plastic clips. I found it more attractive to actually take the cable and run it through the actual side panel uh, and through the out. That's just me doing the actual test, making sure that everything works. There's the power cord all the way down to the floor. At this point, I moved everything up to the third floor. 
those are little screws on there right there and little these screws that's my test in there I just want to make sure everything works and that's the thing too I, you know I want to say I, I want to take it back I want to say this for each build afterwards after my first one it probably took about 40 minutes when you add in the amount of labor for the actual LED lights the rubber seal the little rubber gaps that's pretty cool that's what helps to keep it that's what helps keeps it airtight from the dust uh, it also adds uh, it also increases the structural integrity to the panel so it doesn't uh, uh, shake or, or make noise you can kind of see it fits in just right like that I like the rubber seal that's pretty cool the only uh, the only entry you would have are probably the two holes in the back for the uh, the power sources I mean for the LED cords and this is me just doing a test I just wanted to see what it would look like right there I just grabbed the first thing that I had around and uh, again realizing that this all this you know my first day was just for that one first cube. <laughs> um, fast forward to midnight. Uh, this is probably around 12:30. That's as much as I got, and I'm beat. I am exhausted, and it, but it's coming together. It's coming together very, very nice. I do like their uh, their interlocking clip on there. You can kind of see it right there. That's what. Uh, that's how you're able to lock the module or cubes or the module cubes together. You can kind of, as I pull back, you can kind of see on there. And, you know, that's how you would do it. And then, I, I, again, take this. Is, I want to say this shot here was probably day two. This is me just doing power tests. One of the beautiful things about the actual outlets is that you're able to daisy chain it. So uh, if you're clever enough, you don't need as much outlets if you run the LED lights through the main uh, through through one of the uh, switchboards. I'm gonna I'm gonna call it a switchboard. I'm not I'm not an electrician, but you can kind of see right there that if you remove the red cord, you can add an additional light to it, uh, which helps eliminate an actual plug. And I'm zooming down here to the bottom because I wanted everything plugged into one power strip so that I can turn everything on and off if I ever needed to. If I ever needed to turn everything off, I wanted everything on one power strip. Also right here on the top, you can see the uh, the little steel bar here. That's what's used to uh, to attach the actual cubes on top of each other. And I'll show you in a, in a later shot what, what that would look like. I'm gonna show you another shot here of me that's the little bars right there that's what you would slip on and off and I'll show you that later but I want to show you right here this is I think the the, the amount of time adding these little LED lights it was driving I want to say by like the third day I was I was going stir crazy with these little lights because it's so tedious yeah it's easy to install and, and screw but it just being able to get that tiny little screw and then that little bolt on there and then you have to kind of prep it and thank god i had my micro electric screwdriver holy shit i'm not kidding that really saved my wrist i i used if i didn't have that i don't know what i would have done but you would prep it up there and then i would grab that and it fit just perfectly and i'd be able to kind of tighten it up there yeah boom and boom loved it and i'm going to show you right here a little cable there where you would kind of slip it in this is the larger cube i can't think of the name right now this is one of the larger ones and uh the larger ones has a uh, a structural beam that runs through the center of it that helps helps add more of a structural integrity to it you see i'm kind of running it through there jimmy this is where i lost my fingertips right here just constantly rubbing these these uh, electrical cords and kind of jamming them in there by by Saturday my, <laughs> my fingertips were, were just gone this is the main power outlet here you can kind of see to the larger cube and right there you can remove these little cords and you can add the additional light switch the additional plugs to the actual smaller cubes to the D, DF60s are the, the smaller ones, which measure about 24 by 24 inches, I want to say. And I'm just popping it right there. It's pretty easy. It, it really is. And I knew this was this was going to be an issue with the amount of plugs I was going to need. Again, that's why I had the side outlets 
already prepped up and ordered on Amazon. Now this is the little steel beam here. You would kind of slip on right, you can see right there. And I learned through trial and error that you only need a little bit kind of protruding out right from the top. And you would tighten it up on there. And tighten it up. And then you'd have, and then it would look like that from the very top. Which you would put, you would grab the other cube and you would stack it on top. I'm moving everything on the side here. Because I'm going to attach them right here. You kind of see. And then, again, this is trial and error. You really, you really should have a buddy or friend doing this. This is me by myself just trying to manage this. You can kind of see it, it tends to get jammed, kind of using a wrench there to kind of bang it. But it, it is a little bit of trial and error, and I mean, just boom, it just jams right there. Now, this is a test here. I, I always had my, my plans was to use one of the cubes as a black light display since Hot Toys is starting to release all these black light neon figures. I, I knew I wanted something that I could capitalize. So this is just a light test. This is something that I, I, took, I took a break from building, and I just wanted to see what it would look like. These black light tubes, I believe I they were 10 bucks a piece at Walmart. Very cheap, but that's just me kind of wanted to, to look at. That's the other added, uh, the other advantage to a black display, modular black display. This is day three. This is my progress here so far, and uh, I'm, I'm beat. I'm beat. I want to say at this point, day three, I took a break because I ordered stuff on Amazon. I ordered some supplies because... I, had, I didn't want to attach all this stuff and move everything in place without having certain pieces uh, arrive. Yeah. So, so this is day four. This is Friday. Started construction on Tuesday, and it's a lot of work. Uh, I, at this point, I have suffered uh, two injuries. My, my back, uh, and that's my fault because I... I Building this and the amount of weight and attaching them like Lego blocks, uh, I it really is a two-man job. It should have been two people doing this, but uh, I, I don't have anybody right now. It's just me, so uh, my <laughs> I did hurt my back. I, I also sprained uh, a thigh muscle too, so again, I would recommend uh, having a friend or a buddy or somebody helping you attach these because uh, it is it is awkward to attach the, uh, the the pieces together. Another thing is too is that uh, I you know when I pre-ordered this I, I took measurements and I wanted the whole idea of this was not only to have a, a decent display setup but um, I wanted to maximize the space as possible at the same time highlight in my collection and and one of the things that I took into account was the space on top. So this right here, that's a Hot Toys box. So I knew from the roof, I mean not from the roof, from the ceiling to the top that I can maximize the space. So I'm gonna add a thin layer of wood because I wouldn't recommend putting anything heavy on these without having like an extra layer and I'll, and I'll show you. This is the top, you can kind of see. This is the top, it's kind of like a press wood covering I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to Home Depot and and have some really thin plywood cut to measurement specs so I can lay on top of this so that I can use it for additional storage for my hot toy boxes so that's the whole idea and then I can maximize all the space put the box on there the thing I, I, I took into account this is around day two around uh, Wednesday was that uh, uh, behind my wall, uh, there's two major outlets, two power sources. And, and by having the, the cases blocking them, the module cases, it's, it's gonna cut into where I can plug in devices. And I, I suspect that in the future, I may have collectible pieces that will uh, require power source that I would want to display in here, but I don't have access to a power source. So in each of the units on the right and left side, I did cut out small holes so that I could run a, a power strip or power module 
uh, at just as backup, just in case I can use it. So what this is, is a power strip with a USB port. So I'm gonna have this, you can kind of see it, and it's black so it'll blend in. And uh, I'll have this in the top right side of the case. Because I'm, because I'm building a black light display box here, I, I needed a, a way to uh, control the black light and also control the, the LED lights that I installed. You can kind of see it right up here. So my solution was for 20 bucks, again, I got this on Amazon, is a remote outlet switch. And again, I'll have the, uh, the links on my Amazon link at the bottom of this video. So if you do decide you wanna take advantage of the remote outlet switch, you can use the, uh, the link, in my Amazon link in the video. You can get your very own. This was, this was pretty cheap. I wanna say I paid 20 bucks for this. And I'll be able to remote control and turn on my power sources with this device. I, I gotta tell you something. These re, these wireless remote control power outlets are phenomenal. I cannot believe how great they work. So you get three of them. You get the three of the controller there, which uh, operates three outlets, and it works beautifully. I can't. I mean, it's it's twenty bucks. Couldn't believe how awesome this thing was. And that's just me testing it out, making sure it works. Uh, there's my outlet right there in the top right hand corner. I'm just showing you right there. And then I use a little bit of gorilla tape to help kind of seal the hole because the plug was big so I did have I did uh, have to cut a, a hole to kind of slip it through and this is this is the complete well this is almost a complete build this is where I do the uh, the test to make sure that the fluorescent tubes work and the actual uh, LED lights work because once I start moving everything in it's gonna be a pain in the butt to get back there behind the actual panels to move stuff uh, to actually change anything since since this case is heavy and that's my <laughs> that's my collection of action <laughs> what a mess anyway <laughs> let's get to the acrylic uh, uh, panels here um, take your time with this this probably took me two hours to yeah no yeah about it yeah I would say about an hour and 45 minutes to uh, remove the, uh, the actual film and then uh, this is a learning curve as well too the, the, it's, it's tricky to get these acrylic uh, uh, panels attached uh, once you figure it out it, it, it gets easier but the first time I'm like what's going on here <laughs> uh, that's the other thing too, they are pretty reflective, so maybe module case in the future they can make a, an acrylic panel that's less reflective because it does tend to catch light. It's not a deal breaker, just compared to glass, it just tends to catch more light. And this is me slowly moving everything in, testing everything out, making sure everything works. And I want to say this is the current shot of what the module Modu cases. I keep saying modular cases. It's Modu cases or Modu case. I'm happy. I, I gotta say it was a, it was a strenuous build, but uh, I'm very happy how I'm able to maximize the space and kind of class up the the room. Very nice. And then if you notice on the top, I, the whole plan was to store hot toy boxes up there. I decided to just display more of the uh, uh, the vehicles and and uh, little. Chachki uh, props with some with some LED light. That's it. This is my Modu case experience. Hope you guys it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, subscribe, leave your comments below. And remember the stuff that I uh, purchased here helps support the channel. Use the Amazon link below. See ya.